Hello and welcome to the tutorial on subtraction. In this tutorial we will learn how to subtract a six digit number and a four digit number and we're going to do this using the horizontal format. So let's have a look at our first example. What is 658,000 372 minus 4567. Okay, now in the horizontal format, this looks a little bit tricky. We're going to use the same principles we've used before. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the number we are subtracting, that's this one here, and we're going to add the number to this number so that it equals the large number on the left. Okay, so let's do this. We have seven units. Okay, that's the number we're subtracting, seven units. Our target is to get to two units. Okay, now because we're adding, the next number after seven, which has got two units, is 12. Okay, it's 12. So what number added to the seven over here is going to give us 12? Well, the answer is five. Seven plus five is 12. And because it's 12, we're carrying one over to the next column. Now we're going to do the tens. How many tens do we have? We don't have six because we've carried one over. We've actually got seven. How many tens do we need to get to? Well, we need to get to seven. Therefore, the answer is zero. We don't need to add anything there. Okay, that was nice and easy. Let's move across to the hundreds. How many hundreds do we have? We've got five hundreds. And what is our target? We need to get to three hundreds. Or more realistically, the next three units number is going to be 13. So what number added to the five over here is going to give us 13? Well, the answer is eight. Five plus eight is 13. So we've done that and we've carried one over to the next column. So how many thousands do we have? Well, we've got not four, but we've actually got five because we carried one over. And how many thousands do we need to get to? Well, we need to get to eight. So what number added to five over here is gonna give us eight? The answer is three. Okay, we're not carrying anything over. Five plus three is eight. Now, how about these last two digits? We've got six and the five. Well, there's nothing over here. Therefore, we need to add these two over here. So we can write this down, six and five. Okay, put a comma over here. And we have reached our answer. It is 653,805. Now, as we've said before, it's a lot easier if you are adding rather than subtracting. That is the reason why we added numbers to the smaller number over here. Okay, it's a nice, neat trick. And the best way to do this is to practice. The more you practice on this, the faster you will get and the more accurate you will get. Now, let's look at one more example. This time we have 400 and 45,584 minus 6,397. So we've got 445,584 minus 6,397. Now following the same principles as above, we're going to add the number to this so that it equals this number over here. So let's start with the units. We've got seven units. What is our target? We need to get to four units. Now the number after seven, which has got four units, is 14. So what number added to this seven is going to give us 14? Well, we know this, it's seven. Seven plus seven is 14. Okay, we're going to carry one over because we've got to 14. Seven plus seven is 14. Now moving across to the tens. How many tens do we have? Well, we don't have nine. We've actually got 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to put zero here 
and we're going to cross out the 3 and put a 4 over here. Okay, so 9 plus 1 is 10. That makes this number 40. Now, how many 10s do we have to do we have to get to? Well, we've got to get to 8. So what number added to the 0 over here is going to give us 8? That's nice and easy. It is 8. Now, moving on to the hundreds, we have four hundreds. I'll just write this again in blue. Four hundreds. How many hundreds do we need to get to? We need to get to five hundreds. So what number added to the four over here is going to give us five? The answer is one. That was nice and easy. Now, moving on to the thousands, we've got six thousands, and we need to get to five. So the next number after 6, which has got 5 units, is 15. So what number added to the 6 over here is going to give us 15? That's nice and easy. It's 9. 6 plus 9 is 15. And we're carrying 1 over. Now we move to the 10,000s. We've got 1 10,000s. Okay, we carried 1 over. How many do we need to get to? We need to get to 4. So what number added to the 1 here, which is going to give us 4? The answer is 3. And lastly, we've got the digit over here, 4, which we simply just add on. And we have arrived at our answer. It is 439,187. Now this looks just a little bit messy if you look at it now. However, this is a logical process to go through, and with a bit of practice, you won't even need to do any of the workings. You'll go straight from the question over here to the answer, but that requires practice. So that is how we subtract a six-digit number and a four-digit number using the horizontal format.